The first thing that we want to do is explain the procedure to our patient. We want to let them know that we'll be placing electrodes on their limbs, as well as removing their shirt and placing electrodes down the left side of their heart. The equipment that we'll need for this is our cardiac monitor, our electrodes, a towel to wipe away perspiration as necessary, and a razor to remove excess hair from the chest as needed. Now that our patient has been prepped, uh, it's time to put the limb leads on. We're going to be placing the limb leads on the medial side of the calves and the medial sides of the forearms. Once our limb leads have been placed, we can go ahead and place our precordial leads. The first precordial lead that we're going to place is V1. V1 is going to be placed to the right of the sternum at the fourth intercostal space. The next precordial lead that we'll place is V2. V2 will be placed in the exact same spot, just to the left of the sternum. After V2, we'll be placing V4. V4 will be placed midclavicular in the fifth intercostal space. After that, we'll place V3. V3 will be placed midline in between V2 and V4. Next, we'll place V6. V6 will be placed mid-axillary in the fifth intercostal space. And finally, V5. V5 will be placed midline in the fifth intercostal space in between V4 and V6. After we've attached all of our leads, we want to make sure our patient is lying still, breathing normally with no talking. We're then going to turn on our cardiac monitor and ensure that all of our leads are placed and connected appropriately. We want to make sure that the picture that we're receiving on our cardiac monitor is as clear as possible with minimal amount of artifact. We also want to make sure that we're not receiving any error messages. From there, we're going to go to our 12 lead section of our monitor. We're going to let our patient know that we're about to take the picture and to make sure that they're remaining still. We are going to acquire our 12 lead and wait while the machine analyzes. Once the cardiac monitor has printed the 12 lead, we are going to interpret the 12 lead to our local standards as well as report any findings. After this, for any unstable patient, we want to have serial 12 leads every five minutes and also after any intervention that we perform.